Greetings folks, this is Jason, no longer from Ishibashi Music Shibuya in Tokyo. I know that news is going to come as a great shock to many of you out there who faithfully watch my videos and I thank you all very, very much for watching. Yesterday was my last day at the store and I've made a decision that I'm going to follow a dream which is crazy and insane, but I'm going to give it a go, which is to go into freelance filmmaking full time. Uh, now I'm not abandoning my guitar life anything whatsoever, there's a lot of exciting stuff still coming up and I've got a very, very big announcement to tell you in just a moment. But just to give you a quick overview of what's going to happen is that I am currently making pretty decent money out of filmmaking. I'm spending 50 hours a week in the guitar shop at Ishibashi, well I was, and spending about 10 hours a week or so with the available time that I had on filmmaking and making roughly about the same sort of money. So if I can make that sort of money in that short time, hopefully I'll be able to go full time with this and make something work with it. It's a gamble, it's a risk, but you know, life is full of risks. There's plenty of people. Peter McKinnon, one of the guys from Canada who does this filmmaking stuff full time now, did exactly the same thing and he just celebrated his one millionth subscriber to his YouTube channel, which congratulations, Peter. I watch your stuff faithfully and I love it. And I'm not trying to reach to that sort of thing. That's not what I'm going for. I really love making videos, as I think you all know. And it's time for me to spread my wings and just give it a shot. So I'm still living here in Tokyo. I'm still here in Japan. I'm going to be hopefully traveling, traveling around Japan more, traveling around the world more. I'm going to be working very hard to get myself to the NAM show 2018, freelancing and making videos. So if any of you companies out there that happen to see my stuff, like what I do, I intend to go around the booth, the booth, the booth, the booth and freelance myself and obviously pre-plan everything. And you pay me to make you videos which I will produce on the spot, on the day and give it to you so that you can upload to your Instagrams and your Facebooks and your YouTubes and whatever. And let's do some work together and make that happen. It was a really cool four years and four months. And the reason I'm doing it now is my contract was up for renew at this particular time. And I was like, well, if I'm gonna do this, this is kind of the time to do it. So I'm gonna do it. I do wanna thank everybody at Ishibashi Music that I worked with, my bosses who employed me, the guys that I worked with in the store, the guys that I worked with in the other stores. If you think I'm insane doing this, tell me in the comments below. If you think this is a really good idea, tell me in the comments below. Whatever it is that you like about my videos, please tell me in the comments below. If you're a guitar shopper and you want the resource here, contact me. I will put my Facebook link below, I'll put my Instagram link below. You can contact me and you never know. If there is something in a store that you've seen somewhere that you can't contact because of the English ability, uh, English lack of ability for that matter as well here in Japan, and you need something, if you're willing to pay for my service, I'll try and help you to make it happen. So contact me and we'll see how we go with that. That's another side thing I can do. Now the big announcement that I have for you all is that on the 23rd of September, 2017 this is, I'm taking off to Germany, which is very exciting because my mother's German. I'm half German myself and it's my first time ever to Germany. It is the first YouTuber event that they're having, which is called GitCon. 20 prominent YouTubers invited and they invited me and I don't even have all that huge of a following compared to a lot of other people out there. But they like my videos, they like my work, they like what I do, and they've invited me. And even though I'm no longer at the store, they still want me to come. I spoke to Henny Pauly yesterday, who's the one who organized this whole thing, and he said, you better still be coming along to GitCon. So I'm really honored, and thank you guys so much for having me there. I need to thank Hans-Peter Wufer from the Warwick and Framus company who invited me along to be a part of this incredible event. While I'm there, I intend on visiting the Toman factory. I've just spoken to Bartek, one of the guys there, and he's invited me down to check out the factory, so, well, the store rather. So I'll go through and try and get, uh, have a look at as much as I can and make some videos for you all so you can see exactly what Tolman's got going on there from my perspective, because I've never been into the store before. I also need to thank the many companies who've supported this journey that I've had over the last four years. All the artists that I've dealt with over the course of time, Michael Sweet, James Lomenzo, Steve Vai, who I've done videos with, Guthrie Govan and the Aristocrats guys, Marco Miniman and Brian Bella, who I've done videos with before. 
Uh, all the people that I've interviewed at my time at Ishibashi, I really want to thank Eddie Van Halen for letting me come to 5150. That was an amazing day and so much more happened. It was never put on film, but sometime I'll sit down and I'll tell you all the story about what happened that day because it was pretty awesome and very, very enjoyable. I want to thank my very dear friend Jordan Rudis, who is nothing but constantly supportive of everything that I'm doing. Vernon Reed, who once again deserves a huge thank you for hooking me up with Steve Vai in the first place to be able to do that video that I did with him. Now the sad news about what's happened here is that currently all of the videos that I did with Ishibashi, when I was wearing my Ishibashi t-shirt, when I was at NAMM, all these different things currently are not available on the YouTube channel. They have not been deleted. They are currently set to private at the request of Ishibashi while we work out what's going on with my departure from the company. There's nothing untoward about it, it's just that this is the Japanese way of doing things. So unfortunately, the Alex Lyson video and all those great videos that everybody loves so much, the Nuno videos, the Tommy Emmanuel video and all these ones, I've got no choice, it's out of my hands, but I will endeavor to try and sort out something with the guys that we can get them back up on there, whether they remain on this channel, whether they go to another channel. The one really cool thing that's come out of all of this is that I get to keep my YouTube channel. So all of you 3,800 and I think it was 16 currently subscribers that I have still have access to me through this channel. The channel remains with me. The videos that I did which were not Ishibashi, such as Steve Vai and Jordan Rudis at NAMM and a few other little things remain mine and still get to stay on the channel. Uh, and I'm gonna increase this channel. What am I doing coming up with the channel? I will be doing a mixture of huge things. The videos that I make for various musicians, I'm gonna get in and try and do behind the scenes stuff which will go onto this channel here uh, of how I did the shooting, how I did the editing. I'm gonna give you guys filmmaking tips on how I make my videos, how I do my interviews, how I get gear from companies, because I have got quite a bit of gear from companies over the years. The Canon 5D Mark IV that I'm using right now, which is the most expensive bit of camera equipment I own, I paid for out of my own pocket. The Zoom gear that I have, Zoom very kindly support me and take care of that stuff. The Audio Technica gear that I have, I'm using right now, they very kindly support me and take care of me with that stuff. So it's a balance of how to do things. There's companies such as Edelkrone that I really want to get working with who do really cool sliders and all sorts of equipment. GoPro have been so supportive of everything that I do over the past. It's just incredible. So I currently have 17 GoPros, plus a couple of Canon DSLRs and all the other things that I have to work with which I'm gonna be continuing, continuing on with and going hard to do my filmmaking as best that I possibly can. So as crazy of a journey as what this is gonna be, come along with me, be a part of it, watch the growth, see what happens. Please invite your friends to check out this channel because it's gonna be a crazy fun ride and I do wanna build up and get more and more subscribers because the more subscribers I get, the more likes that I get, the more that I can support this thing, tell companies that I am the guy to get involved with to be able to do things. If you're in a famous band or if you have a friend in a famous band, please get in contact with me in advance, way ahead of time before the tour because I need to get official permissions from record labels, official permissions from touring companies, and of course official permissions from not just the artists but from their managers to be able to do this stuff but we can get into working on things. I'd like to do rig rundowns. I'd like to do live concert footage. I've already helped out a bunch of guys with their A&R stuff behind the scenes to be able to get their endorsements, such as Vernon with his Paul Reed Smith deal and his former Parker deal that he had. The guys from Carnival, I helped them out to get their PRS deals. Pat Badger from Extreme, good buddy of mine. I hooked him and Warwick up together, and he's in talks with them about going to them to become a bass playing artist. I've got a new URL for the Facebook page, which I'll put in the comments below. I've got a new URL for the YouTube channel, which will be in the comments below. There's a lot of things going on. It is a time of change, and it's pretty exciting. It's a little scary, but it's pretty damn exciting as to what's coming up. There's a lot going on in this little universe of mine, so I invite you to be a part of it. Please stick around, and let's see what happens. Best of luck to me, and thank you for watching. Rock on.